for having us on here today. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, of course, of course. Your project looks pretty epic, I gotta say. I've, I've interviewed yeah. a lot of people, and uh, this is definitely, uh, utility aside, it's actually an interesting concept just sort of from the get-go. So I'm, I'm interested to dive in and hear uh, all the nuances of what you guys got going on. Yeah, absolutely. We want to be different in basically every way possible from what the NFTs are known as now. So I'm looking forward to giving you a rundown of all of that. Love Sorry it. that I keep moving around. My cat is very clingy. So wow, I'll what's the cat's name? The time. What His is name's the... Hank. Hank. I'll let all him right. say hi. Chat, can we get a Hank in the chat just to, just to <laughs> fire it up really quick? Gotta fire it up. Yep. <laughs> just figured I'd introduce him because he'll be walking hey. in front of me this entire time. Hey, Soria. How's it going, man? Sorry, I was getting set up. So. All good, all good. I'm going to turn your volume up a little bit. Say something. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. Can you guys hear him? Do we need to turn the volume up on uh, on their stuff? They love Hank in the chat. Good, good. I'm glad to hear. <laughs> um, let me see. Let me just turn the audio up a little bit. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Glad to have you guys on. Uh, Dapper Ape High Society. Very uh, glad to have you guys here. So I think what we can do is uh, I'd love to hear like a little bit of an overview from you guys. Uh, I have a quick idea from uh, checking out the website. It's basically like your avatar that will follow you in different metaverses and you can sort of start with, you know, your blank canvas and then you get different pieces which you can add together to create the final avatar that will be your guy in, in different in different places like a like a build uh what was it called what do you guys call it a build, build an, an ape. ape um so yeah i'd love to hear just like a thirty thousand foot view and then we can sort of go through the website top to bottom and uh learn about all the nuances of the of the project and when things are launching and how many there are and and all that kind of good stuff all right awesome awesome um well i can start and then mark and uh fill in the gaps a bit uh, beautiful okay. Going back to what you said, like the 30,000 foot view, I mean, before we even talk about our project, we can talk about what's happening out there in the NFT space yeah. and why we're doing what we're doing. So um, most of you guys listening in, uh, you're probably investors in the NFT space. So if you at least know enough about NFTs to see that there's this huge trend around metaverse land lately. So uh, whether it's land in the sandbox selling for millions of dollars or um, whether it's like multiple metaverses selling land um, and the promise of land. So there's a huge hype around metaverse land. And where we saw this as investors is all these institutional buyers and other companies are buying up this land to create venues, to create mm. event halls, create malls and stuff like that. And the thing is, people are thinking about what's going to happen now. Um, right now, the land is the hype, but think about what happens after everything is built upon the land. Um, after everything is built upon the land, the value of that land skyrockets so much that everyday investors won't be able to afford it. So what's going to happen is the next trend is going to start. And that's what we believe is going to happen is once all this land is built upon and you have event hall and you have malls, uh, you, you're going to need an avatar to attend these spaces. You, you can't just be a floating nobody, right? <laughs> so you got, you need something that you can identify with personally and say, oh yeah, this is the digital version of myself. And right now we saw that no one really is tackling that problem. And in about six months from now, this is going to be a huge issue of people uh, claiming this as like, this is my metaverse avatar. Like if you see this walking around the metaverse, that's me. And we saw a huge problem. One is no one's re really addressing that problem. And Part of that problem is too, most NFTs are like computer graphically generated. Mm. So you kind of have to pick what's out there for you already. Like pick from the random combinations generated from a computer. Right. And we felt like in the long run, who really wants a computer generated avatar like to say, oh yeah, this is me in the metaverse. Right. right? It's supposed to reflect your personality essentially. And exactly. so you want to you wanna be either a pirate or you can have, you know, you can like com combine different attributes to make whatever it is that you want to represent yourself as uh, within the uh, the metaverse. Correct. Correct. Love so it. We, we, yep. So we wanted to make something where people can design their own avatar and then use it in the metaverse. So that, that's where the idea for Dapper Ape High Society started. And we wanted to basically make customizable metaverse avatars. And that's what we, exactly we've done. So the way we're able to do this is unlike other NFTs that 
use a computer code to graphically generate like 10,000 sets. Um, we're actually selling 5,000 naked apes that mm. wear absolutely nothing. And each one single accessory is actually sold as a separate NFT. Got the you. cool thing is we made custom code that like, doesn't exist anywhere on earth. Um, our devs created this code where through our website, you can come and combine, merge these two NFTs. So think about it like you have two less valuable NFTs that you can come to our website, merge, and basically the website would layer it and mint you a new NFT. And Interesting. Through, this, through this process, you're basically able to take two less valuable NFTs and merge them into a new valuable NFT. Because once you use up that accessory, um, well, first of all, that accessory is gone. So no right. one was able to... No one is able to like. So it's like deflationary, experience. also in a sense that exactly. to create your exactly. custom avatar, you have to burn a couple things along the way. So then there's less yep. of the swords or the uh, the dragon or alligator uh, skin, essentially. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. I also exactly. wanted to add, even on top of all of these attributes, there's more customization on top of that because even though they all start out as base apes for Mint Two. There are a variety of them. Like, there are over 20 different base apes. So you can trade and find the exact one that you want. And then you can start equipping attributes. Because you can't unequip attributes. So you're going to have to get everything exactly as you want already. So you can gather your favorite avatar. And then you can make your, you know, your zombie. So it burns it. It, it Essentially, it'll burn the uh, attribute that you connect to it. And here's a... Do you have a, like... um, what would you call it? Like a place where I can preview what my guy would look like with a sword and uh, like, like, I don't know what I'm, I'm sort of just thinking of future features for you guys. Yeah. Like, obviously you don't need to have this uh, built, uh, but is there like a preview mechanism or is, are each that's, NFT sort of that's separate? That's a great idea. Um, we'll, we'll look into that. We'll look into adding a preview mechanism as it stands right now. Uh, you would just have to use your imagination. Right, right, right. No, I would, I would imagine that that's how uh, it would be built uh, early in the roadmap. Yep, um, yep. And then right I also now have... We're oh, go on, for it. Uh, functionality and also uh, closing up any back-end doors. So totally. since you have to upload two NFTs and then those two get burned, we're minting you a new one. Mm. Um, that's like three smart contracts on right, every right, single right. one. So in the first stage, at least, we're looking at uh, making a really good minimum viable product that cannot be hacked or cannot be uh, like people, people it's foolproof basically. Right. You guys are getting the core. And so what I have a great idea. Well, maybe it's a great idea or maybe it's a horrible idea. So I'm going to drop that in a second, but what phase are you guys in currently? Have you already uh, launched? Is it still whitelist? Um, where are you guys at uh, in terms of uh, like, are, are people able to buy it on magic Eden now? Uh, where are you guys at? So we released our Genesis collection on February 19th. Oh, nice. And, um, that sold out in basically 15 minutes. And um, after, after selling that out, uh, I think in the first four hours, we did like a 4X. And right now we're basically maintaining that. Um, since only about 20% of NFTs in circulation have been listed. Mm. Um, but yeah, that was basically our initial uh, Genesis Mint. And that's actually not part of this Build an Ape collection. Uh, this Build an Ape collection is the customizable avatars. And uh, the Genesis Mint is actually fully clothed avatar. So basically, gotcha. each, one of the, each one of those avatars comes dappered head to toe with accessories and all gears. And we just wanted to show people uh, both. We, we needed the funds to raise to make this build an ape happen, totally. which we're really happy we were able to make it happen. And um, additionally, we also wanted to show people what is possible, right? Because if we just give them a blank canvas without showing um, final products of what is possible... Um, some people might not even be interested, right? Totally. Uh, and so when is the, uh, the it, when is the naked ape and outfit item uh, launch happening? Do you guys have a set date for that, or is it still TBD? Sixteen days from now, March nineteenth. Sixteen days from now. All right. So yes. I gotta be I gotta be awake for that. And get ready for that. Coming up soon. Put that in my Definitely. calendar. Um, and then I sort of just had a totally random idea and I want to share it with you guys. And then this is definitely later in the roadmap and then we can keep going down, uh, down the website. But I've always, I've been thinking a lot about this too, sort of the 30,000 foot view where it's like, what's the evolution of these metaverses? Like once uh, we find the, either the one main metaverse or the multiple different metaverses where we want to exist and we're going to have our avatars. Um, there could be an interesting opportunity 
for, let's say I make a really, really cool avatar from using your build an ape. Uh, there could be a, a, a basically the concept of me being able to rent or lease it out to a bunch of other people and they could pay me sort of a royalty. So I would be losing my uniqueness in that sense. I wouldn't be the only one to have that unique combination, but it would allow A, for you guys to take a royalty on additional sales. Like, you know, if someone got the Hello Kitty face, obviously you'd make money one time, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who would want to have that avatar and it could signal that you're part of a certain community or whatever. And so I think that could be something interesting as you expand and you know if there's 5555 avatars i'm assuming that uh in the future when there's billions of people and you guys are uh well ingrained into it there's going to be multiple releases and different genesis and all that kind of stuff so it could be interesting this is more like the three five year uh vision obviously it's not the uh most important thing to execute uh right now but i think it could be cool i would I would spend more money to customize my avatar knowing that I then own it and then I could almost sell it and make revenue on top of it also being my cool representation uh, within these different metaverse uh, universes. So yeah, I just wanted to, that sort of came into my head as one of the, you know, the crazy, crazy ideas. Um, oh, definitely, that's a great idea. Um, but like, let's say like you did like a Hello Kitty uh, outfit mm -hmm. of some other ape. The cool thing is, because each component of Build an Ape is an individual NFT, if you like the Hello Kitty outfit, you can actually trade each one of the accessories as a separate NFT. Right, that's the true. Accessories have their own marketplace. So uh, let's but say- But I'm assuming there would be a limited limited number. So let's say Hello Kitty, yeah. as, since we're going for that example, let's mm -hmm. say there were only five of them. It's the rarest trait in yep. in the uh, the ecosystem and they're going for millions of dollars or whatever it may be. Uh, I think that it's obviously it's a it's an evolution once you have sort of the demand side reach <laughs> like a, yep. like a critical mass essentially and then you could sort of implement that feature but before that then it wouldn't make sense I, I totally agree with uh, exactly what you're saying but I always like to think uh, three years ahead and uh, we got a bunch of people yeah, coming in the office sorry um, even if it's not three years ahead right uh, right when we start off. Uh, we have a different model of how we let people use our NFTs in metaverses. So I'm not sure if you saw this on our website, but our goal is for you to maintain the same avatar, regardless if you are in a metaverse. Right. NFT so you're going to be platform agnostic, change. essentially. You're going to build into, uh, we're assuming that each of these metaverses will have some sort of API to allow outside or third party developers to make add avatars in like Facebook. We don't know if they're going to allow that. I hope they would. Yeah. Uh, but they're, you know, they're crazy people trying to own the full stack. Uh, but like uh, Decentraland or uh, something like that. So here's a question. Do you plan on operating across different blockchains as well? Or are you sticking to Solana metaverses for now? So the thing is, we just like to operate on Solana because of the cheap gas fees. Totally. Um, for something like build an ape, right? You're going to need to put five, six different accessories on your ape. And no one's going to do it if you have to it's pay. It's a two, nightmare on ETH. Yeah, that's, for, that's $600 yeah, yeah. To, uh, to to combine all the things. So, yeah, it actually breaks the uh, the thesis, essentially. Yeah. But we, we actually are not tied down to Solana itself. So the way we distribute the files is actually very interesting. Uh, once you buy an NFT, you can actually go to our website and click View an Ape. And basically, once you uh, connect your wallet, you're given access to all the different file types. So right now there's six different file types there. You can do anything from like uh, modded into a, a version of Minecraft or 3D printed at home right now. Oh wow! Uh, there's also augmented reality files, uh, virtual reality files. So basically, what we plan to do is uh, allow the user to come and connect their wallet to the website, verify they own that NFT, and then download the different file formats for multiple games. Oh awesome! So without, without even operating on the other blockchain, uh, we, we'll just give users the files. And as long as the other game is willing to allow a file upload right. for uh, character concepts, then we're basically able to expand into uh, any any chain. Basically. Gotcha. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and then is there a, an IP? Like, do they own the IP as well? I'm assuming once they own the source files, they sort of can uh, do what with it what they want. I mean, if they're a, if they're a, you know a 3D animator and Blender, they could 
use that character in a you know video comic book thing if they wanted to yeah so if you buy the nft you own 100 percent ip rights to it um yeah you need let's say you bought the nft and you you see us using it and you're not a fan of us using it on the website i don't know why you wouldn't like that because right, all right. It, the value of your nft <laughs> if it's on our home page but if you told us i own this nft it has to be taken off our home page we would even take it off our home page uh, that's how much ownership you have over the art uh, you have 100 percent ip rights to the art if you buy the nft that's awesome and then some people in the chat uh they are asking what is the uh the mint price i'm assuming they're talking about the one that's upcoming um 16 days from now uh what will the mint price of that one be it's mint one price? soul flat. Yep. One soul. Nice. And then how many uh how many are gonna be uh is that the one that's five 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 five? Um no, so the five 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 is the maximum size our collection would ever reach. Got it. Um forty five hundred are available to the public on March nineteenth. Got it. Mm-hmm. That and makes the sense. white list for that is actually five thousand spots. So uh five hundred people will be missing out. And the reason we oversubscribe mm. the whitelist is because we saw, uh, as NFT investors, right, we saw when people have the exact same amount of whitelist spots as uh, NFTs, some people don't show up and basically ah, uh, they have a hard time selling out, right? And unlike other projects who, let's say, they give 5,000 whitelists and 500 people miss out and they're mad, uh, we, we won't leave those people like without an NFT. Gotcha. We're releasing the accessories. Um, the 500 people that miss out will be entitled to the mm. first 500 accessory packs. Got it. That's pretty cool. All right. So the whitelist is at minimum worth an accessory. And if you yeah. are lucky enough to sneak in and get in, uh, you will get As long as the you're on time, character. you believe everyone should be able to mint. Gotcha. And then what are the, uh, what are the requirements? I, I know I see a lot of people asking, how do you get a whitelist? Uh, is there like a Discord thing or a Twitter thing? Are you giving away slots to different projects? How is that working? How do they get a whitelist? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we were planning to do a whitelist giveaway with you here today. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, we, we could definitely do that. If you have like a tweet or something that you want us to uh, blow up or get everyone in your Discord, well, we can get people to retweet and tag them, tag two friends. Or what do you think? Definitely. Is... Honestly, honestly um, if you just come to our Discord and say you're from this um, stream, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, gi- we'll give the first 20 people. Whitelist. Wow. All right. Here we go. I'm, I'm, we're posting. The, we're posting the link. There's the website. Uh, and hit the Discord link in there. In there. Boom. I'm, I'll even put this Discord link. All right. So you guys, you heard him. Uh, first twenty. First twenty people. First twenty people that uh, that hit their Discord will uh, get access to the uh, whitelist. So head over there right now. And, and uh, say say, you say you're from the JS stream. And uh, first twenty of you guys are lucky. You guys are lucky people. And let's say you do miss out, then um, we actually have an experience boost going on right now. So the easiest way to get the whitelist would just be to remain active in our server. And uh, I would estimate with the experience boost, it won't take you a week or anything. Um, literally, if you just come and talk to us for two, three days, uh, you'll get the whitelist. So Got it. Okay, so you have a bot in there that tracks what level you are in terms of yeah. engagement yeah. in the Discord. Yes. Got it. That's awesome. Uh I love it. So I'm going to be, I'm going to figure out a way to get myself a whitelist. I don't know. Maybe we'll figure something out for that uh, because we I definitely want to, I definitely want to mint one of those. And then how is the, how is the um, uh, attributes going to work? Right. So like, let's say I get in yeah. on the whitelist and I am lucky enough to be one of the first 4,500. Uh, let's say I want to buy 20 different attributes because I want to decide. I just want to have my choice of, of that. And then I can sell the rest. Uh, how is that working? Is there a whitelist uh, for that as well? Is that going to be just a public mint? And is there going to be a cap on, uh, oh, I guess it says uh, 50 outfits, 100 accessories. Is that a limit or is that just what's uh, launching in the beginning? No, no, no. So that 100 accessories is just what's included in the Genesis collection. Got it. So so basically any accessory that's sold separately is actually, there's over 9,000 different accessories sold mm. separately. So the, the another idea for you guys, just, I don't know if you've ever played path of exile, um, but, uh, they have like a scourge gem where you can basically strip your guy back down to naked. I don't know how that would work in your smart contracts, but let's say I start out, I make my guy with a sword 
and then you guys, you know, six months from now, release like a wand that I really want, or you have a partnership with Harry Potter or whatever, and I'm like, I love Harry Potter. Is there a way? I mean, maybe this is just going to be an idea for later down on the roadmap, but like we actually, to remove. I, I get exactly what you're asking. Uh, we actually marketed it in a different way. Um, so some people are not interested in the uh, build an ape, right? Mm. Since they're like, oh, I'm just here for the investment. I like what you guys are doing. I'm not going to build an ape. Um, so the way we marketed it is for the first few months, you, it's going to be very, very demanded to get uh, your ape dressed up and get him into the metaverse, mm. right? But let's say six months down the line or eight months down the line, when there's a few naked apes left, those naked apes will skyrocket in value. Ah, so okay. There won't be any more naked apes. For Got you. Okay, that's right. an interesting way to take the, to do the take on it. Right. So that is uh-huh. so the people who have held out the longest. Just to hold on to your naked all right, apes. so now I have to buy two. One to keep naked at all times and then one to turn into uh, my character. Maybe I'll run around in the metaverse as a naked guy. Who knows? Yeah, so each whitelist actually gives you the ability to mint two. But uh, we don't think oh, most people will get there because Got we you. think we'll sell out fast enough to the point where most people will only be able to mint one. Got it. Got yep. it. So there's not a right. All right. So I just got to be fast with the uh, with the mouse and uh, click it twice. Have two tabs open, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure that out. <laughs> two computers. Um, PC. Yeah, two two computers. I got a bunch of them here, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, is there anything else that? Uh, you think is interesting that we should uh, tell the people that are that are watching anything else that you guys want to go over or uh, yeah, want to plug? So much. Right, um, there's I, so I, much. I can imagine. I don't think we've even talked about our staking yet, which is coming out. Let's on the go. 12th. Let's go with the so, staking. What do we got? All right, I'll jump into it. So only Genesis apes will be able to be staked, but essentially it's sort of a furball system. So you'll be able to stake your NFT on our website. And over time, you'll passively earn something that we're they're going to be called Dodds tokens or something similar. Mm. And it's not going to have a chart or anything. So think of it as just like a tether. These tokens will only have value in our ecosystem. And with these tokens, you can actually buy our attributes just with tokens. So you won't need to spend any money on it. But people that hold their Genesis 8 and get rewarded with these tokens can buy attributes and other things within the ecosystem. Like you can even buy another ape. If you get enough, you can get like a 3D printed version of your ape and things like that. But it's just sort of to keep cool. everyone more engaged in the community and reward early comers and people that are just holding on to Genesis instead of trading and flipping them all the time. So both them, they get rewarded and we get rewarded as a community. Interesting. So, and can I, if I'm staked, can I uh, combine uh, my guy or do I have to unstake and then combine attributes and then restake at, once he's uh, fully kitted out with his stuff? Or is this a later question that's, you know... <laughs> I guess it's a technical uh, nuance. Only only Genesis apes can be staked. So those are the fully clothed ones. So we won't run Oh, into Genesis, not the new ones. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So if you're a Genesis holder, all right. There's a lot of... I got right what you're saying. Secondary. We're on every single secondary market that exists. Mm. So. <laughs> yeah, we expect the prices of those Genesis apes to go up significantly right once, once the staking yeah right when staking comes out and people find out that oh wow if i just get one of these it doesn't matter which genesis i can stake it and earn attributes for my other base apes that i'm gonna buy just for free so Got i think it. that's gonna be a pretty good incentive and then what is the uh name that is uh on like magic eden is it your spelled Definitely out spelled society. out fully yeah if you, if you just put in Daws, um it'll pop up DHS. Mm-hmm. Got yeah, it. Oh, nice. Yep. Beautiful. We're pulling it up. Magic Eden is sometimes they let us down with the uh, <laughs> with the speed. Oh, yeah. Dope. We're also we're, we're also available on Solsi. Uh, for some reason, we're getting like double the volume on Solsi. We're oh, number wow. one in Solsi. Uh, we only launched a week ago, and we're number one on Solsi already. Amazing. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. At one point, we had like seven times the volume of number two on Soul C, so that, was, <laughs> that made me it. pretty happy. It didn't last that long, but it made me happy. That's very dope. I'm going to have to go through these uh, off stream and decide which one is going to be my uh, my Genesis guy, because there's actually, now that I'm looking at it, there's like a bunch of different ones. I like this like Pharaoh skeleton dude. I like the samurai. The, the tiger is pretty cool. You guys have some pretty awesome art. Yeah, we love it. Our artist is extremely talented. And there's, there's so many a lot different of different. Attributes. Yeah, there's a lot of different uh, 
concepts going on. It's not like uh, they're that, very that different. That is like what we were saying with uh, the computer, computer graphic generated ones. Um, each one of our NFTs is handmade by our artists in the mm. Genesis collection. And is there rarity so, or they, it's just based on like uh, the art? Coming and... soon. Coming soon. We haven't released it. So, God, oh, so week, you never know. You out. might sweep one off the floor that's, uh, that's top 10 rarity. We, just we saying people... females are really rare. I'm yeah, just going to throw yeah, that out. It. It's 15, like 15% of the total pool. But continue. Now, does Sorry female mean long hair? Because I see one right here that could be a uh, female and it's you'll on be able the floor. To tell. If it's a female, you'll be able to tell. This one's I like... I believe the face is also a little different. Oh, got you. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Any yeah, other no, things other than staking? If you that... to type a rare one, the best way is to try to find something that glows or looks cool. If mm. it glows and looks cool, let's say you do, it's not a rare one, um, it'll still sell very easily as long as it looks cool. Got so it. So pick one you really like and you think looks cool, and by the time rarities come out, we expect the volume to be fluctuating heavily as nice. people uh, create them across. Yeah, these are. I would also like to note the backgrounds themselves aren't attributes, so you're not yep. going to have like the same NFT as someone else, but they have a gold background and you have a gray. That won't happen. Got it. That also means that like the different background colors that won't be included in a rarity score or something like that. Got you. Got you. And the that's reason awesome. that's important too is because we're making metaverse avatars. So think about it. If you're walking around the sa sandbox, it doesn't matter what the background is. It doesn't matter what the right. Background it's going to be a PNG that. essentially on a transparent. Yep. Yep. Got you. That's awesome. Yep. So you can it... even uh, once Build an Ape comes out, uh, we're we're not releasing this with Build an Ape, but uh, right after our devs are done with Build an Ape, we're trying to add in part of Build an Ape is any ape you own, Genesis or regular. Um, you'd be able to come in and change the background color through the Build an Ape feature. So, Love it. Um, yep. Beautiful guys. So I think I I think it'd be cool maybe if we jumped on uh, maybe fifteen fourteen days from now either right before or maybe right after uh, the, uh, the mint of the new stuff. And we can play around and do another uh, thing on here. I'm going to have my Genesis Ape. So I will also have your token and uh, be staking uh, my guy. I don't know which one I'm going to get yet, but after the stream, I will, uh, I'll pick up a couple of these. Maybe we'll do a giveaway of, of a Genesis next week if, uh, chat, uh, if chat wants to do it. Um, and yeah, if you want to give away if, if you want us to give away Genesis next week, you have to blow up the Discord. And if you blow up the Discord, we'll give you a Genesis. All right, guys, you time. heard it. You heard it. Go into their Discord right now and start blowing it up. Say you're from the 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 JCS stream, uh, yep. and uh, maybe if you guys do a good job, uh, they will give away a Genesis in next week's Friday giveaway. So that could be super cool. Go, go head over there right now. I'm going to drop the Discord link one more time. Um, and thanks for coming on, guys. This was awesome, and I really like your project. Um, and I'm here Thank to you. help in any way that I can uh, as you guys move forward. I think it's a really interesting, unique, and uh, definitely you have utility that's different from a lot of the other projects that I see and, and talk to on stream. So it's uh, very refreshing to uh, see some, something actually interesting being built. So thank you for that. Okay, awesome. Thank you again for having us on. It's been great to be here and I'm looking back to I'm looking forward to coming back. Oh yeah. I can't wait. Good it's going to be good. This is the first of many uh on the uh on the stream. So we will have you guys back soon and uh yeah, we'll keep chatting in this uh in this group chat and uh figure out other ways that we can collaborate. All right. Phenomenal. Awesome guys. Day. Thank you so much.